Good morning, friends. This is BJ. I'm the Dean of Trinity Cathedral. Good morning. Greetings on a rainy Thursday morning. One of my favorite things about ministry, about congregational life, is about how we see new people step into the life of the cathedral of the church and then step into leadership. And here at the cathedral, we have so many different ways to step into new, uh, new leadership positions, new ways of, of growing and, and deepening our life together as the church. This coming Sunday, we'll gather for our annual meeting. We're going to do it over Zoom, so it'll be a webcast, but there'll also be chances to interact and ask questions. We'll also be electing new vestry members and new members of Cathedral Council, as well as next year's nominating committee, members of next year's nominating committee. So I ask for the next few days to continue to hold those who have put themselves forward for leadership, hold them in your prayers. If you haven't already been doing so, I thank those who have, done, who have stepped forward. And remember that this is such an important way, not only that each of those folks might be stepping into leadership uh, or continuing leadership, it's also a way that God moves through our community that the Holy Spirit moves because new people bring new ideas and a new community, new leadership bodies made up of continuing members and new folks means that God is able to do new stuff with us entirely. So continue to hold that in your prayers, but also consider the ways, especially as, as you participate in the annual meeting. And we will be sharing the annual report to talk about what 2020 looked like for Trinity Cathedral. We'll be sharing that uh, on Friday. Spend some time with that and think about what are ways that you might want to engage with the cathedral in the coming months and years, but also are there ways that you can step into leadership because that, because that ultimately is how we begin to really grow. It has been quite a year. We'll be reflecting primarily on the calendar year 2020, though of course the major story has been the pandemic and of where we are today. But as we do, I want us to begin to continue thinking what are the ways that we we help one another in our relationship with God? That's discipleship. How do we as a congregation engage ministry together from, from knitting pearls to prayer groups to service opportunities? That's, that's how, who we are as the congregation, caring for one another in all of the, the transitions of life. And then, of course, what our mission is as a church and specifically as Trinity Cathedral, as the cathedral at the heart of the city. How do we serve through our music, through Trinity Commons, through, uh, through the diocese, through our, our outward ministries like a place at the table or the urban farm? When we get together on Sunday, we'll be talking about all of that, but we'll also give a preview through the, uh, the annual report that you'll be able to read. I'm so thankful for all of you, for those who are stepping forward for leadership, for all of those who are praying for them, and for all of us who make up the church together. I invite you to join me in prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, we offer thanksgiving for the church, for the opportunity to serve together, to be together, even if we physically are not apart, are not together as we wished. We give thanks that soon we will be able to gather outside, but we ask that you be with us now. Be with us as we gather as a council, as the church, as we prepare for our future, as we both honor the past and mark the things that we have lost, especially in this time of distance and pandemic. We ask that you keep those who are sick close to you. Help them to heal. Bless them. Be with those who care for them. Be with those who are still separated from their loved ones. And pray that we may uh, move out of this time of distance just as soon as possible. I give thanks for Trinity the particular ministry of this cathedral that is deeper and wider than even just this gathered community. For all those who look to the cathedral as a source of hope and healing and unity, we give thanks. And I give thanks for you, and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. for our annual meeting.